might suggest, you know, it doesn't take too long before Meghan Markle requires demands, expresses interest, whichever way you want to look at it, certain changes to the ideas that are being put forward. And it's been very difficult, as you can imagine, for the company that she's currently still clinging, working for, that is, of course, Netflix, the streaming giant. But apparently, according to a very well-placed source, Meghan is unhappy with this. Let me explain. Hi, lovely to see you. Thank you so much for joining me. And thank you for your lovely comments regarding, of course, the 60s icon that was Dana Gillespie. What a life. What a lady, eh? Literally met everybody of that particular era. And one of those things, isn't it? It's lovely getting those stories, as I often say to you, firsthand. I do enjoy interviewing people. A lot of people so new, you know, do you do that often? Do it every single day. We're just not allowed to show uh, certain videos here online. But of course, as time some of them runs out, we will be able to include some. But thank you for your lovely comments. I thought she had a fabulous story, literally, the swinging 60s, wasn't it? You know, Carnaby Street. And remember, she was so very young. I don't know if you'd get away with that behaviour today. Do you know what I'm saying? Back as ever to your royal story of the day. We'll have a quick wave. You all right? Yes, now, as you know, Meghan Markle is back with another thing. You know, cooking jams, lemons, whatever you call it, you know. And uh, this is going to be this brand new show, lifestyle show for Netflix. And one might suggest, of course, that, you know, normally this might be a winning formula, particularly in the ratings for certain individuals. But you see, the other problem that you have is now, Meghan's not exactly known for getting hands knee deep, is she, in peeling spuds and, you know, mashing up swede and stuff like that not quite sure exactly who made that jam allegedly she did you know those pots of jam that she sent out one to fifty right do we really see her straining the jam through some kind of muslin curtain or something i'm not quite sure but nonetheless we have to believe it if the lady said right now here's where it gets interesting because as you know the big press release that was put out well apparently Meghan wants a certain thing reacted as it were and that is the word curated now curated normally as we all know means when people have put it together you know cast an eye over it particularly if you're a museum person you know you decide that you're going to go down a certain genre the curator that's what you do Meghan believes though that she should be just listed exclusively as the executive producer now, executive producer, I've worked with many of these people in television, it's a bit of a loose term again, you know? Yeah, a lot of the people do the work, director, producer. Executives normally is the one with the money that says yes or no, we're going to do this, shut up, get on with that, you know, that type of thing. But apparently Megan feels that this would look a, make a more empowering, that sort of stuff. Again, I tell you what I find strange though so far, she talks about being um, inclusive and diverse and stuff. I haven't seen any fellas yet get any jam. Have I missed that? Is it all women? Is it only women that are allowed to get Megan's jam? It's incredible, isn't it? But either way, the bosses of Netflix are, well, shall we say, keen to make this thing kind of work in their own way. And no doubt they will relent because, of course, with her name on it, literally everything hangs on it, success or failure. But it seems so strange and petty, doesn't it, to think that you want to push for things like that, when in reality, this is your first time doing anything like that. You've only just read from scripts before. Why not learn from the people that they're putting around you? Simply be the curator and, of course, take up the, hopefully, glittering success it's supposed to be. Seemingly, though, it's never quite enough, is it, for Meghan Markle? Neil Sean in the very heart of London.